Today we're gonna share some great tips and tricks that you can use to rank up with Lancelot. That is correct. Guys, make sure to drop the like, subscribe, and turn the bell on to all notification bells so you can join the coolest, coolest, baddest family in the world of Mobile Legends. Right off the bat, we got tip number one for you, which is how to use skill one farming the first camp. Now, Lancelot is one of the slowest farmer in the game right now. You can see right here, on this blue camp, the two buffs, I was able to use my skill one four times. And that's something that's really important. A lot of people only get to use like three times. I actually use five times, but you can use it four times if you pace your skill one. Only use your skill one at the end of your charge. Like when your charge is about to run out, that's when you use another skill one to replenish it. Because this way you can actually overlap your charges and get four charges and max amount of damage. That's does all attack damage is not that high right now. Especially after they changed it where now you require four charges to proc the max amount of damage. So it's really, really important for you to maximize your damage and maximize those charges and really take advantage of those so you can farm faster. Even those, I think Lancelot is still just really, really slow in the jungle. Here is where I made a mistake number one, okay? So I should have used two charges at least, like skill one, before I use my ultimate, use my skill two to finish off the kill. What I didn't see is Lancelot's damage is really, really bad compared to before. Obviously, I made that mistake, but don't worry. All you have to do is when you come back is quickly come back to your jungle and get all your jungle as fast as you can and then start ranking up, okay? You gotta get those core cool items. You have to get the half the Seas. There's Hunter Strike. I really like Hunter Strike on Lancelot right now because it makes you move that much faster. And also the Lethality, which is the penetration, really helps out in the early game. If you're able to penetrate 30 armors, including the Blade of Haptasy, including the Hunter Strike, it's really gonna help you. Our early game wasn't the best. 0-5 starting. The high lows were complaining about our team being dumbass and all that stuff. I have to admit, early game, I actually did play it like dumbass. I thought I can solo the Loi there pretty easily. Loi was bullying our mid lane, and I went in with my skill set, it just wasn't enough. Don't worry guys, just keep on farming, and there's always gonna be another opportunity to surface. Let's take a look at the roam on the bottom lane. I actually did not miss a single skill one there, but our bottom lane was getting so beat up. The, this die rod that was able to dash, I still have flicker and, and still have to dash into everything and somehow put our Belmont all the way under tower's 1 HP. Is this something I didn't expect to happen, but it happened? So right after that, I'm gonna decide to come to mid lane and take my revenge on this Loi right here. And you can see this time I learned from a mistake, use two charges, use my ultimate for the third charge, and just go in for the fourth charge all attack and he dies. I actually shouldn't have used my skill too right there. I think this is more of a character to take proficiency. If you play Lancelot more, you will get a hang of it. You will start understanding, oh, okay, I need to be more patient with my dashes. Instead of looking at all those montages where you see Lancelot going, stop, 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 stop. Our four dash was an ultimate with the skill two, somebody dies. That's not usually how it works, right? Like that kind of stuff comes with a lot of practice and you really have to just play over and over again. I think the key in success, even when I was grinding for US Supreme was Lancelot in that season when I was really active, it was still just patience. You gotta be really patient with your skill too. Like if your melee range was the target and they try to dodge you actively, you wanna be patient with your skill too. You don't wanna use it. You just wanna be auto attacking and auto attacking. Now guys, before we continue this gameplay, make sure to re-download your Mobile Legends with the link in the description so you can get an extra 15 to 25% bonus diamond when you're purchasing in Mobile Legends. That's a lot of bonus diamonds. And right now with New Year coming up, with Christmas, with Thanksgiving, a lot of events. There's gonna be a bunch of bunch of skins that are selling. <laughs> so if you want to get those skins, it's time to redownload your Mobile Legends and really take advantage of the extra diamonds. So right here, you can see I jumped in. I was gonna use my ultimate, but unfortunately, our tank didn't go in first, and then we really just got beat up by this Renko there with the ultimate. Uh, obviously, Alice killed himself. If I missed my opportunity, I decided to come to the other lane, right? Again, with Lancelot, you just want to be focused on farming. So right here, I decided to take the route mid lane because enemy has four top and just take a free tower, even though I was one HP. And sometimes, I don't know if it's just my fat fingers or just something wrong with the button. I cannot drag my skill one the way I want it, even though I'm an almost stationary target, like a jungle camp. It just doesn't work sometimes. Another thing, guys, when you're farming, with Lancelot in the jungle, you can actually use your ultimate because your ultimate is on a 20 second cooldown. It's really, really short. And when you're taking the blue buff, it's even gonna be shorter. So you can use your ultimate to farm jungle creeps. If you know in the near 20, 30 seconds, you're not gonna be ganking your lane because all your jungle is up. You can start off by using ultimate just to clear faster. So I'm gonna skip a little bit of farming here and quickly come over here to show you guys this kill onto Loi once again because we're actually on the turtle. And you can see that the Loi just jumped in because he did not respect the power of Lancelot. You cannot come to fight a Lancelot by yourself on Loi there, okay? So over here, we're actually really patient on a Dyroth. I know Dyroth's gonna come here in a circle, use his ultimate to try to finish it off, especially I don't have an ice retribution. 
So I took it slow, slowed down the pace of all attacking, and he used ultimate a little bit too early, and me and Alice is able to secure the turtle buff in the end. So right after that, you can see the bottom lane. I see that our team actually got that covered, so I don't have to go there anymore. I decided to just go to my jungle, take everything, and defend mid lane. So here, one more time, there was a tiny misplay there on the skill one. Well, not able to reach this uh, Granger, but if you make that misplay, it's okay, right? So when you're in the process of getting used to Lancelot, sometimes it does take a little bit of warm up. Just get away here. The reason I didn't go in there, because uh, I forgot whether the Franco had an ultimate or not. I don't want to go in a Franco crowd control. You know, if Franco just suppress me, pin me down, there's going to be a, a lot of trouble. I see an opportunity right here to use my double dashes, but unfortunately the third dash didn't connect. And I got kind of slowed down, so I ended up dying. But that's going to be the last death I have in this game. Because after all the mistake I made, you're going to warm up enough where you can actually make the play to come back in the game and start killing everyone. All right here, I'm going to hide in this bush. Do not get touched by the passive of Loi right there, skill 2. So I don't want to be inflicted and get pulled together. So right here, you can see my skill arm really does no damage whatsoever. When I jump in, it does reset. My dash is just to facilitate my passive and make my other moves do more damage. So again, one more time, the skill 1. I don't understand why it just doesn't land. But it just doesn't, so there's nothing you can do about it. I'm gonna quickly come to mid lane, and here I see an opportunity. Use my ultimate to finish off the kill with my skill 2 landing, but it wasn't necessary. Apparently, I was doing enough damage. I didn't even get an ult attack in. The Granger just died. I gotta say, one of the reasons why I play Lancelot is because of the 11 11 event, where I got a bunch of skin, including this Lancelot skin that I so desperately wanted for so long. I was like, okay, I gotta play Lancelot now because of the skin. But even though Lancelot is still, in my opinion, a really, really bad assassin. Like, any other assassin would have played better. Like, Ling, for example, I think will skill better in the late game. So over here, you can see we're engaged right here, jumped in with ultimate to find that kill number one. And kill number two, this guy flickered one more time. So sometimes when people flicker, you gotta let them live. The rule number one, let people live if they flicker. Right after the successful team fight, I decided to come to the enemy jungle because we killed the enemy jungler. So I take the rev up and jumped in with the ultimate move. At this point, my ultimate does a lot of damage by itself without the enhanced passive. And also, another reason why I use ultimate to start off is because enemy was under their tower. It was a little bit too far. So you want to use your ultimate. You don't want to use your skill one because that's your only dash that can be infinite dashes so if you use it correctly. Where ultimate is just like a one-off move. If you use it, it's done. So I use my ultimate to go in and use another skill one to get amplified damage on my passive and a skill two to finish off those kills. Over here, our team are doing the Lord and they were pinging. I told them to leave that Lord alone because we want to wait for 12 minutes to enhance Lord to do it. Our top lane is getting caught off and our mid lane was fighting, but I decided to go save the Leslie. But Leslie kind of failed her skill here and still died. And I think Lancelot fighting Dyros is just a really, really difficult task when there's no minion waves. Especially with Dyros really far ahead, because he was abusing the Silence, abusing the Belmont. So over here, we're simply able to play the Dyros with the Lancelot, because we're actually far ahead on farm now. Lord is up, we kill three people, I ping my team to come to the Lord, and at the same time, I saw the enemy Granger walking through with a red buff, and sure enough, with a dash here granted by me in the jungle, we're able to get an easy kill. And then continue to snowball right there, put the enemy jungle behind. And at this point, we're just pinging our team to go to the Lord. Another thing with Lancelot is you can use your skill 1 dash back for a charge, use your skill 2, and then use your retribution at the same time to secure, to do more damage on the retribution. This way you have like two charges on your passive to enhance the damage on the retribution. You also have your skill 2 to extend the overall execution line. And most importantly, right afterwards, you can see I was leveraging the jungle creep to use my skill 1 and to get a kill onto the friend kill. Before the Lord shows up, you can clean your jungle, get everything, get all the buff ready, and then get ready to die with the Lord. In the mid lane right here, if we had our tank, we should have really pushed this mid lane. The reason for that is because we have a tier 2 tower here. If we can push the mid lane, it's going to be really beneficial for us. Because we can get this tower down with a minion wave, we can get 2 minion wave towards the enemy high ground tower. But it turned out that our Lyalis got hooked and we're unfortunate dying under the tier 2 tower. But still, this tier 2 tower need to go down. If this tier 2 tower doesn't go down, it's going to hinder our push in the next Lord, right? So I decided to obviously just go with the second wave, push the Lord, and then to see if there's any other opportunity I'm pushing here. It seems like there isn't any because enemies still have five up and our Alice died, which is the most important member in our high ground tower dive. Alice can go in, root people, and then if go immune with Winter Truncheon, just bait a lot of opportunity for our team. So this is where everything went down. Alice actually went top lane, tried to force a team fight here. My ultimate landed, and I got a kill on your 1-1 here with a one more skill one. Alice finished off the kill. The enemy was actually quite tanky. But at this point, I didn't know how many people was in that bush. I look at the minimap and realize, oh, everybody's dead, you know, because Belmont actually this time landed a successful ultimate. This guy once again flickered on me this entire game. I think it's a safe flicker on me every single time. And that's going to be the end of the game right here, guys. I got to say, Lancelot is quite fun. 
I wouldn't recommend it on solo queue ranking up though because the damage is not enough compared to before. But still, it's a really, really fun, really, really flashy assassin. If you get really comfortable with him and you have a really good engage, I would recommend something like Kufra, Grok even, to help you clear. Or a Hylos, anyone who can help you clear in the early game, who can be a beefy frontline engage for you and then you follow up would be really nice. So with that guys, that's gonna be it for us today. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to drop the like, subscribe, and turn the bell on to all notification bells. Looking forward to December 6th on the M3. The North America representative going to the world stage. I'm actually really excited to watch that. Have a wonderful rest of your weekend. See you next time. Just for the thrill of it. Nothing counterfeit with you.